I am Dr. Kajitan Tellis. I am a pediatrician working in Bangalore for the last 15 years now. Once a diagnosis of tuberculosis is made, the treatment is a long, drawn-out process. There is, it's a minimum of a six months treatment with initial two months where we give uh, four drugs and the next uh, four months where we give two drugs. The drug should be given directly by a uh, medical personnel to the child so that there is no, there is proper compliance. If the child does not take the drug or the parents do not give the drugs to the child, then the child is likely to de develop drug resistant tuberculosis. So it is important that uh, there is something called DOT, it is direct observed treatment. So this is to be given as far as possible since it is not possible for the health worker to come to the house of the child every day. It is change it is uh, given as once in three days once in uh, sorry tw twice a week or thrice a week uh, the names of the drugs that are used are isoniazid rifampicin pyrazinamide and ethambutol these are given all together every day every time that the drug is given for more severe cases of tuberculosis the treatment goes on for nine months or even for 12 months in the severe forms like the miliary tuberculosis or the tuberculosis of the brain, that is meningitis of the spine, spinal cord. Uh, streptomycin is a very old drug which is given in an injection form. So that is used for the more severe forms of tuberculosis. And there is something called multi-drug resistant tuberculosis in which Newer, newer uh, anti tuberculosis treatment is used. The, the names of those drugs are canamycin and capriomycin injections.